Hey there, Social Blade fans. Dave here yet again for another Social Blade YouTube Tip of the Week. I want to start off by actually apologizing shortly here for doing a tutorial on expensive software. We sort of forgot that most of our viewers are in the younger age group and they don't have expensive software like Adobe Premiere Pro or After Effects. Now we see a bunch of these people using the software in our forums, in our chat room, so we thought why not do a tutorial on it. But we forgot to leave out the younger group that may not have the budget for that so in this video we're going to show you how to use two different pieces of software under a hundred dollars that will allow you to color correct in a somewhat good format now I still prefer the more expensive software because it gives you more options but you can do some amazing things in budget software between fifty and a hundred dollars and the first one we're going to look at is on screen here it is called Vegas Movie Studio HD 11. I think it runs about $40 and it has a lot of features. Now you're not going to get the full out blown features of Premiere, uh, Adobe Premiere or After Effects or Vegas Pro Studio or anything like that, but you know, for the basic user, this is going to work fine. So let's get started and move our media that we worked in last time and we're going to put it in the video section here on the timeline. Simply drag it into the project. We'll click here and look, it's really blue. So what can we do to correct that? Well, if we go to the tabs here at the bottom, we can see what we have to work with. And under video effects, we want to choose our color correction. So let's actually go to color corrector. We got different ones. We can do balance, curves, color corrector. And they give you different presets, but I generally want to work from the ground up here. So let's go to color curves that's sort of like what we worked with last time it pops up a setting we can uh, double click to make a handle here and just click and drag that handle maybe pull this little handle here so you can do curves like an S curve pull that down to clip some of the blacks give you more depth and definition and you'll still know it's a little bit blue and eh, it's not bright enough maybe so let's go and select from our channels here the blue channel and pull that down. Now this is one thing I really don't like about this program in that once you start going into these different settings uh, these there's no master so if you go to RBG you can pull this down thinking it's gonna affect everything but really it's gonna affect just the group that you haven't touched yet so let's actually boost some of the reds in this if it'll let us do that today and there we go For whatever reason, it doesn't like that too much. And we sort of got that. Let's get back to greens real fast. And knock off some of the greens because it's really green. And there's more what it looks like. I mean, the, the blues, maybe in the shadow areas, there's a little bit too much blue. We could fix that by adjusting this curve in any way we want. And that's sort of what the original would look like. I think it's a little bit bluish green still and we could boost the reds if we wanted to but you know it's an art form it's going to take some work so that is how you're going to work with color correction with the color curves in this program let's actually undo that if you want to go back into the settings click the event effects button here on the timeline and you can actually select this and delete it by hitting this button here and let's actually work with the uh, color corrector this is more along the lines of what you'll see in most color correctors so you have the lows which are the shadow areas that you can affect We'll put those more towards the red. You got the mids, which are going to be the mid-tones. And we'll put that towards the reds as well. And then the highlights, which are going to be the whites and everything. So you can see what that adjusts by going over the top on that. You got your gain that you could boost up on here. A little bit of offset if you wanted to to adjust the contrast, the gamma, and saturation. So if you want to boost the saturation, still looks a little bit blue. But, you know, there's only so much you can do. And generally, I don't think that this one does all that great a job but with some touch-up work you could probably make it better I mean it looks a little bit purple there but we're not going to spend too much time adjusting with this so we're going to just keep it as is and that will be that now let's move into the other program that we have here and that is going to be one that's about a hundred dollars this one's called Adobe Premiere Elements and they are up to version 11 right now Premiere Elements is the knockdown version of Premiere Pro. Now, Premiere Pro runs about $800 plus, and most people don't have the budget for it. But Premiere Elements, at just $100, does quite a bit. It may remind you of Windows Movie Maker from the start, but if you go into expert mode here at the top, well, look at that. You got your timelines just like in the previous program from 
from uh, what is it uh, from Sony. So let's actually drag in some media here. We'll put it in video one. Drag it over to the left. And let's see what we could do adjustment wise. So where do you find the effects? Well, they're here at the right. We got adjustments. And let's see what we can do. We can do color or color RGB. Let's try the color RGB. We'll click the drop down. You got different presets at the top. I recommend going to the more setting here. And under more, you can do things like uh, adjust your greens, blues, and reds. Right from the start, so let's boost some of the reds, take down some of the blues. Maybe adjust the greens to need and boost everything in general to brighten it up. But not too much because you don't want to go over the top. And that's looking a little bit more like what we need it now in the trial version you do have a watermark so you'll want to pay for the hundred dollar license to use this it's well worth it guys i mean this thing does quite a bit not only do you have different effects that you can apply and their adjustments but some fantastic features and you know for an everyday vlogger or a gamer you don't need the thousand dollar software out there this does a lot of things that most of you guys probably use every day even in the high-end software. And that said, that's going to wrap up another Social Blade YouTube tip of the week. Guys, yes, again, sorry for using expensive software, but I appreciate the feedback that you gave us in the comments and on the forums and everything. Once again, do look back on the previous video, download the media for this application that I worked with in these two programs, and share your results in the forum. Once again, I'll put the link to the forum thread in the description of this video, and you can go back to the last one and review what we did there if you're working with more expensive software. Hey, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button because we're coming back next week as we do most weeks. And if you're not following Social Blade on all the social media websites, go to socialblade.com. Everything is linked there to be proper, right? And it's easy to get to. And, you know... Thanks, guys, for watching, and I look forward to your comments. If you have any suggestions for something that we haven't covered, leave them in the comments below or contact us via a message here on YouTube. And anything that you may need to do, do it in the comments below. We like the comments below. Give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.